Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to actually import products by CSV using Shopify. I think this is a really, really important thing to know because if you're working with, let's say for example, a thousand products, it will take a very, very long time to do that manually. So first of all, we're gonna download the sample product CSV file from Shopify. I'll leave a link to this in the description if I remember. And then I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code, first of all, uh, just to have a look at what we're dealing with. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to open it in Google Sheets as well, just because it's a bit more readable. And it will make a lot more sense to us if we read it in Google Sheets. So let's go blank. And then you want to go to File. God, my internet's slow. File, Import. And then you can just drag and drop here. And we're gonna be using this as a template and just hit import data here. This will tell us all the columns. Perfect, this is exactly what we needed. So obviously you guys will know uh, all of the information that goes into here. You can just read through this basically one by one. The most important things here are the SEO title um, which is the meta title, the SEO description, and then I guess there's also product description somewhere around here as well. Should be. Where is the product description? Does that not exist here? Maybe body. Yeah, there we go. Hello. So HTML, uh, HTML as well. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is you will have to upload probably uh, your um, your photos basically in an order, okay? So all of your photos will have some kind of naming, um, a way of naming everything. And then you will put raw HTML into the body and the title will be the title that you see here. So this is the product title here. So what I'm actually gonna do is let's do an example. Oh, this is why I didn't put it, okay. So instead of doing an example, I'm just gonna change this to true. And then maybe we'll just add one more. I wonder where they get the photos from there. Example, um, shoes. Okay, whatever, uh, shoes. So yeah, this is a really, really simple, uh, oh, here we go, image SRC, perfect. Yeah, so you can upload them to the back end of your Shopify and then they will uh, appear in your store as long as they have the right name. And the way that you can do that is you make sure that you just have a naming convention, basically. So the name of your product and then maybe the SKU or whatever is a good naming convention. And then we're gonna download this as a CSV. And we're gonna put this back into Shopify. You can read through, if you wanna read more about this stuff, then read through this. It looks maybe a bit complicated if you don't know what you're looking at, but it's, re it's actually really, really simple and really, really easy to do. And it's making me want to start a Shopify store selling loads of products just as a test. So definitely let me know if you want me to do that. Let's go to products here on the main uh, Shopify dashboard and click import here. And then we're gonna drag and drop this, upload and continue, which will get rid of uh, 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 yeah, four products, perfect. I don't know what's gonna happen with this one because I've already um, I've already got this product. I think I had to press overwrite here, potentially, but we'll see what happens. And yeah, Shopify, guys. Um, a, lot of me, a lot of people are asking me to make more Shopify content. I am definitely gonna be working on more Shopify content. This is perfect now, uh, although they are archived. I don't know why they're archived. No, active. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're, yeah, the, these are the most important parts, basically. And we can archive products as they're out of stock as well, which makes this like a really, really nice process. I think I'm gonna start a store, guys, because if I start a store as well, it'll give me more motivation to work on Shopify. I will pause this until uh, this example is done. Just give me one second. I think I'm just gonna manually make these active, I guess. So set as active, set as active. Is this gonna work? I think they, I th oh no, there we go. It did actually work, so it's active. Okay, perfect. So now if, yeah, you can see I have um, one, two, three, four, five products. So if I go on my home, 
to refresh this. At the moment, it's just this T-shirt. Is this going to change anything? No. I'll have to go back in and manually change things. Okay, that's it, guys. It's really, really simple. If you've got any questions, then let me know. Uh, the most important ones are status is very, very important. Uh, you can do Google Shopping stuff um, if necessary, but it's probably not necessary. Um, Google Shopping custom product. Some of these will be important when you want to use Google Shopping. But for now, I would focus on SEO title, SEO description. Uh, make sure these are all correct as well. All of the Google Shopping stuff. Images, very, very important. Make sure you're using a naming convention. Probably use PNG with transparent backgrounds just because they look cool. I personally think they look the best. Or you can use a background that is similar to the background color of your store as well. And then make sure you are adding um, body. You can, I, I assume you can just write here. It doesn't have to be HTML. I don't think you'll have to put a P here, but maybe you do. Hello. You guys can test this for yourself, but if it doesn't work, then it's because you need to put raw HTML like that. Um, I wouldn't write too much here anyway, to be honest with you. Another thing you can probably do is um, image, and then you can probably put the link, but yeah. I hope this helps, guys. I know that this is a question that a lot of people have about Shopify, so I thought I would just quickly go through it and show that it's really not that complicated. You could easily, easily, easily upload thousands of products in this way. I might do this just to show people how easy it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.